Hello my dear fellow book lover friend, welcome to the beautiful eyes that are watching and listening to us, if you're looking for your next great lead, you're in the right place, in this video, we're giving you a sneak peek into the book, The Sympathizer, discussing everything from the characters to the themes, to our favorite quotes, whether you're a long time fan or new to the book, you won't want to miss this. We are grateful to have you with us and we wish you all the strength to make your life worth living. Now, we are presenting to you the summary of the book. The Sympathizer by Viet Thanh Nguyen is a gripping and thought-provoking novel about the Vietnam War and its aftermath. The novel is narrated by an unnamed protagonist who is a communist spy working for the North Vietnamese government but has also been educated in the United States. He is caught between two worlds and is torn by conflicting loyalties. The novel follows his journey as he flees Vietnam and resettles in America, where he continues to work as a spy and grapples with the complexities of his identity. The novel is a powerful exploration of the psychological and emotional toll of war, and the ways in which political ideologies can shape and warp individual lives. The protagonist struggle to reconcile his beliefs and his actions is at the heart of the novel, and it raises important questions about the nature of loyalty, morality, and identity. The novel is also a commentary on the cultural and political differences between the East and the West, and how these differences can create misunderstandings and conflicts. One of the strengths of the novel is its vivid and evocative prose. Nguyen has a gift for description and his writing is both beautiful and haunting. One of my favorite lines from the novel is when the protagonist is reflecting on his experiences as a spy. I would have said that I was a spy, and that spies were liars, and that one could not be a spy without being a liar. I would have said that I was a coward, and that cowardice was the foundation of courage, and that desperate times called for desperate measures. I would have said that I was a traitor, and that all nations betrayed their citizens, and that my betrayal of America was an act of loyalty to Vietnam. The novel is also notable for its complex and nuanced portrayal of the Vietnamese people and their experiences during and after the war. The protagonist's perspective is unique in that he is able to see the contradictions and hypocrisies on both sides of the conflict, and his insights into the Vietnamese people and their struggles are both poignant and insightful. The novel also explores the themes of memory and history, and how the stories we tell about the past can shape our understanding of the present. Overall, The Sympathizer is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that offers a unique and nuanced perspective on the Vietnam War and its aftermath. It is a novel that raises important questions about the nature of identity, loyalty, and morality, and it is a testament to the power of literature to illuminate and deepen our understanding of the world. Our review about the book suggests that, The Sympathizer by Viet Thanh Nguyen is a two to force of a novel that explores the complexities of the Vietnam War and its aftermath through the eyes of a conflicted and complex protagonist. The novel is a masterful work of fiction that delves deep into the psychological and emotional toll of war, and the ways in which political ideologies can shape and warp individual lives. One of the things that I love about this novel is the way that it grapples with the complexities of identity and loyalty. The protagonist is torn between his loyalty to his country and his loyalty to his beliefs, and this conflict drives the narrative forward. The novel raises important questions about the nature of patriotism and nationalism, and it shows how these concepts can be used to justify violence and oppression. Another strength of the novel is its vivid and evocative prose. Nguyen has a gift for description and his writing is both beautiful and haunting. One of my favorite passages from the novel is when the protagonist is reflecting on his experiences as a spy. We are your bad conscience, but look upon us and you will see that even your bad conscience is a poor reflection of our humanity. This line is both poetic and powerful, and it perfectly captured. You should read this classic book. We, thank you for being with us. Don't forget to check for other book suggestions on our channel. And, we suggest you to please, subscribe and support your this channel, to grow together. Thank you again.